If you're looking for a backup power solution for your home, you're going to want to take a look at Generac's new 24 kilowatt Guardian standby generator because it is the highest output, most powerful air cooled standby generator on the market. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course at Solar Surge here, we use renewable energy, solar power with battery backup, and sometimes even a fuel burning generator backup as well. If you're new to the channel, we do product reviews and comparisons on this channel, covering solar panels, batteries, generator sets, and oftentimes how to integrate those different systems together so that you can have the most redundant, most secure power supply for your home. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Generac's new 24 kilowatt Guardian home standby generator, because this generator not only offers higher power output, but also some new intelligent features that might make it a good fit for your home. Now, when you're looking at backup power systems, the first question you really wanna ask yourself is, what are you preparing for? Um, are you preparing for you know, short-term infrequent power outages, maybe just due to a thunderstorm or a hurricane? Or are you preparing more for a long-term uh, systemic type of outage? Like let's say a, a terrorist attack or something takes down our electric grid for a prolonged period of time. So that's really the first question that you wanna start with because the difference is, you know, with a generator like this, the nice thing about it is that you can pretty much carry on a normal lifestyle. You don't have to think about how much energy you're using. You can, you know, cook your food, run the air conditioner, run the water heater. You know, as long as you're willing to pay for the fuel, you know, you can pretty much use as much power as you want. Whereas if you're considering a solar battery backup system, the advantage with the backup battery backup system is that you can run for as long as you want. There's no need to have to refuel or purchase fuel. So there's an advantage there, but it does mean that you're gonna to have to be more energy conscious, particularly during evening hours where the solar panels can't really help you and you have to draw all the electricity from the battery. So I think it's important to start with that question. But if you do decide that a fuel burning or a standby type generator is the right solution for you, then you're gonna to wanna to take a look at the Guardian 24K. The Guardian 24K comes with what Generac calls true power technology. And what that means is that the, the power coming off of the generator is of utility scale quality. So it's a constant voltage and less than 5% harmonic distortion. Now that's not the same with portable gasoline type generators. Those generators typically have voltage where it will fluctuate around. And if the in engine misfires, you could be sending what we call dirty power into your house. Now, this is important, especially if you have sensitive electronics in your house, like laser printers, microwaves, uh, audio video equipment, or medical equipment. Um, a lot of times those type of electronics are very sensitive to harmonic distortion. And so you really wanna be feeding those appliances the cleanest power possible. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example here at my house here. Um, every once in a while I do a generator test just to make sure that our portable generator is functioning properly. And twice now in the past when I've been doing these generator tests, I have actually blown out the uh, cable internet router in the home. Uh, again, this has to do with the power that comes off of a gasoline generator is dirty power versus the power that you can get from a Generac type home standby generator is what, what they call true power. Basically, it's, it's clean power. It, it's, it's clean, it's uniform, it's just like what you would expect from the utility. So if you have, again, sensitive electronics like medical equipment, for example, you're probably gonna wanna go with a generator that can produce clean power as opposed to maybe a lesser expensive gasoline power generator. Generac's new models also include quiet self-test mode. Now, home standby genera uh, generators will generally have an automatic uh, test cycle where they will kick on once a week for about five minutes just to keep the fuel moving through the lines, make sure that the battery is working, make sure that the engine will start when it's needed. And so with the quiet test mode, it allows the engine to run at lower RPMs, which keeps the noise down and also minimizes your fuel consumption. Generax Guardian series also comes with mobile link technology, which means you can actually connect the generator set 
to your home Wi-Fi so that you have access to monitor it on the app, and then also so that Generax technicians can remotely log in and diagnose any issue that you might have with the system. And then finally, the new models are also compatible with Amazon Alexa. So I suppose you can tell Alexa to turn, turn the generator on for you. Of course, if the power's gone out, that might not, might not work so well. But it does integrate with Amazon Alexa, which gives you some little bit additional control here. Now again, folks, before you go down this path too far, you really need to ask yourself, what are you preparing for? Generators like this are great for short-term outages where you don't really care about, about the availability of fuel. You just need something to get you through a couple of days. Whereas solar battery backup systems are more advantageous for protection for long-term grid down events where you don't want any counterparty risk as far as you know, having to store fuel or having to try to buy fuel during a time of crisis. Now, many of our clients here at Solar Search choose to do all three. They'll do solar, enough to knock out the electric bill. They'll do battery backup, which will kind of be the primary backup system, which will kick in automatically, you know, if we lose utility power. And then only use the generator as a last resort option. Let's say the grid is down, the, the weather's bad, so the solar panels haven't been able to keep the batteries charged. So if the batteries fall below a certain level, then you have an option to fire up the generator. You can recharge the batteries and power the house at the same time. But it's better than having to run the generator all day because you burn a lot more fuel if you're running the generator 24 seven. Whereas if you use the generator just to back up the battery, you could run the generator for two, three, four hours, get your batteries back full, and then you could run for you know, another 24, 48 hours off the battery system. So folks, if this is something that you're interested in taking a look at for your home, whether a generator or perhaps a generator integrated with other solar and battery technology, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. And what you can do, it'll take you to our website and you can schedule a virtual appointment with one of our designers and really just talk through you know, what the options would be for your house based on what your goals are. Also guys, if you're getting good value from the videos on Solar Surge, be sure to click on the like button and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way as we have the new videos being published out, it'll show up so you'll, you'll see it. Hopefully you won't miss anything. Well folks, thanks again for taking the time to tune into Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.